God is worthy to be praised. Isn't it right? Amen. Amen. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, God name deserves to be praised. So why don't you clap your hands, all you people, and shout out to God with the voice of praise. Amen. Amen. It's so great to see you today. What it is out on this beautiful morning. Welcome, welcome to Historic First Community Church. Before we get started, why don't we just go around and say hello to someone and let them know that you're so glad to see them on this beautiful morning. This morning, praise God that God is a part and sometimes He has to put us back together again. When we break, sometimes it feels like we're breaking and falling. So come on, one more time. Come on, give God a couple breaks on this morning. Hallelujah. Great is the Lord and great to be praised. God's greatness is solid. If you're able, we want you to stand with us on this morning as we lift up the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. With my hands lifted up. With a heart of thanksgiving, I'll bless thee, O Lord. With my hands lifted up, and my mouth filled with praise. Thank you. 
blessing. Every One more time. Every blessing flow. Every blessing. Every blessing. Come on, Lord, you bless our God. I Thank you, Lord. Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord.
Thank you. Um, on my heart this morning, I just really want to thank God. I found myself this week thanking him for all the little things. Sometimes we get caught up in thanking him for those big, grand gestures, those big, beautiful blessings we've been waiting on. But I realized that I'm walking today.
continues to be in our lives and how great God is. Come on, one more time. We applaud God this morning. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. souls will start their third quarter. Amen. Amen. The third quarter for the year. God has blessed us and continue to bless us as we provide educational classes for our community. Starting July the 7th through August the 25th, we will have classes such as the story of God, faith and finances, new hope, amen, and trauma healing for men. Uh, powerful classes, powerful facilitators, and we praise God for the work that God has called us to do Amen. here in this great community. Amen. Praise God that we're still able to serve meals. Amen. We're still serving 500 meals a week. Yes. Oh, God, Amen. God, Amen. God, God, yes. God. Yes. We too has been our provider, but not only our provider, but the provider of our community as well. Family, friends, and funds day. Can you say that with me? Family, Family friends, friends, and funds day. Yes. We're going to have a tremendous day. We're going to have an amazing service. Actually, Brother Lonnie, Deacon Lonnie, he's already started working on bringing his guests. He has two guests with him on this morning. God bless you, women of God. We're so glad that you're here with us. Brother Kim, you all, he's a disciple. You all, he brings someone here with him every Sunday. But he has. You, uh, a couple of visitors, amen. We know his uncle, Brother Lee Walker, is here. Amen. We have a dynamic musician that's in the house on this morning, Brother Charles. Come on, praise God for him. And we have another individual. Tell me your name again. Rich. Tell me your name again. Richard. Brother Richard. Did you say Richard? Amen. Come on, praise God for him on this morning. Amen. You all, I'll tell you what, Sister Angela. Crompton is here with us on this morning. Let me praise God for her. We are so glad to see her. Amen. Amen. Give our hug real quick, Sister Shirley, so she'll know. There you go. Praise God. So glad to see you. Amen. Shana's mother in love is here with her on this morning. Miss Mary. Glory to the house on this morning. We're so glad that you're here. She came to see our grandson. Mr. Sean Clay Forrest, he's going to be baptized on this morning. We're certainly glad about that. Amen. Uh, Brother Cedric Thompson and Sister Mia is here. They're going to be recording you all every other Sunday. Unless the Lord starts telling us that we need to do every Sunday. But we praise God for them. Come on, bless God. Lord, Brother Cedric. He's an awesome producer. He is the founder of North Nashville TV. Amen. Wow. Amen. Amen. That reaches all over this land and country. Amen. He just happens to be my producer of healing minds and souls. <laughs> <laughs> and he's so his creativity on all that he brings to our community and throughout the world. He's working on our church website, you all, and this is going to be awesome and amazing. I'll say awesome and amazing. Awesome and amazing. Oh, it's going to be powerful. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's going to be powerful. Amen. So we praise God for him. Pastor Mary Boyd is going to be here with us and the church from Owensboro, Kentucky. Amen. They're going to be here with us on July the 28th, which is our family, friends, and funds. Day. What day is that again? Yes. Amen. 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 And we're going to start service at 11.15 on that Sunday. But we still need to be here at 10 o'clock to welcome our guests in. And also, uh, Pastor Mission Main of our Cathedral of Praise Church will be our guest speaker. It's going to be powerful. It's going to be amazing and awesome. Amen. Deacon Lonnie is coming. And Sister Shauna Clay Forrest is coming. Say amen for them. Amen. 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 amen.
Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Oh, my mic came on. Good morning. Good morning. You know, if it's all right with the pastor, I want to say one thing. Um, her grandson has been asking about every every day when is Sunday? Is this Sunday? So he wants to get baptized Amen. right away. Amen. Let's give him a hand. Okay. okay um, yes, the pastor they told y'all about uh, family, friends, and and scholarship, and one other thing to add to it is food too. We we're gonna have a luncheon. Is that that is true? But also the scholarship fund is um, it's gonna be that day. And and uh, you if you know of anybody who just graduated this year high school, um, they got up until the tenth to to sign in. If you need some information, we can, of course we can give that to you today. Uh, also, we and how we get our money for a scholarship fund. We always want to bring this up. Uh, the scholar we're taking money still for our scholarship fund. If you feel a part, you want to be a part of this scholarship fund. So, if you and like the pastor said, we will, we'll take a million dollars a day. Yeah, we will today. But uh, yeah, thank you. All right, I'm up here to talk about um, the Martin Foundation. The Martin Foundation is a privately on, owned family uh, foundation. Uh, they're doing foundation work a little bit differently right now. Instead of funding organizations to go out and do the work, they want to make a greater impact on individuals. So they are funding individuals that have fallen on some type of hardship, um, whether that hardship is you're about to lose your job, your house, your car. They have funds available for you specifically per person to actually receive um, a grant. There are some requirements to, in order to receive this individualized, this individualized grant. Um, you must have a W a tax return from the previous year. Um, you must show that you do have a job. Um, and there are some more other qualifications that, that are required. But this is a great opportunity. If you know anybody that has fallen on hard times um, and that really needs help, and the grants are up to $10,000 per person. So if you know anybody, and I'm sure we all could use an extra $10,000, but please refer people that really can use it and really need the help. Um, they're taking referrals, not through their website, but through us, the church, Healing Minds and Souls. So please, we're looking for just a list of maybe one, about six people that really need some help. Thank you. Thank you. It is a blessing, isn't it? Yes. Yes. We serve an awesome God, don't we? Yes, we do. We serve a great God, don't we? Amen. A God who is concerned about us. Are y'all ready for the word of God on this morning? Amen. Are y'all ready for the word of God on this morning? Amen. We're going to get to the word of God. I feel just a little song, and we're going to go ahead and dive into the word of God. There is a name I love to hear. Come on, y'all, I love to sing. His word.
God, we bless you. God, we thank you that your faithfulness is great towards us. Every morning we wake up, new mercies we see, oh God. All that we have need of, your hands have already provided. And God, we thank you that you first loved us. And God, it's our desire to reciprocate that love back to you. And not only to you, oh God, to our fellow people that we come in contact with. Lord, we bless you. Now, every individual that's here in this worship experience on this morning. But you know what they stand in the need of even before they ask. And we thank you that you're so faithful that you have promised, oh God, to meet them at the point of their need. So, God, as we extend our faith to you, as we extend our faith to you, God, as we extend our trust to you, you can do exceedingly. God, you can do abundantly. God, far above what we can ask or think. And we think even now that it's the Spirit of God that works on the inside of us. For it's not by power. Glory to God. It's not by might, but it's by your Spirit. Saith the Lord of hosts. Now, oh God, allow the words of my mouth, the meditations of my heart, be acceptable in your sight. God, for you are my strength and you are my redeemer. This is my desire. It's our desire to give you glory, honor, and praise in the high name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the true and living God. We say together, amen. 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 Come on, y'all can do better than that. Amen. 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 Come on, every church in the house on this morning. Come on, you stand to your feet with me and go to the book of Acts, Acts the 16th chapter. We're going to read from the message translation version. So if you can pull up your phones, Acts the 16th chapter. Amen. Verses 4 through 10, and then we're going to drop down to verses 14 and 15. Amen. Acts, the 16th chapter from the Message Translation. Verses 4 through 10, and then we're going to drop down to verses 14 and 15. Amen. If you all can stand, who's able to stand? Well, I bless you to stand as we reverence and respect the Word of God. Amen. The Bible says that. In the Old Testament, when the word came forth, the people of God, they stood up, amen, because they received the word of God together, amen. We together on this morning. Amen. Come on, y'all act like y'all afraid to say amen. Why don't y'all say, say amen louder amen. on this morning? Amen. There you go, it's a church in the house. Praise God. Amen. We're going to read all three together. One, two, three. As they traveled from town to town. They presented the simple guidelines the Jerusalem apostles and the ministers they had come upon. They turned out to be most helpful. Day after day, the congregations became stronger in faith and larger in size. They went to Phrygia and then on the, through the region of Galatia. The plan was to turn west into Asia province, but the Holy Spirit blocked that route. So we went to Asia and tried to go north to Bithynia. But the Spirit of Jesus wouldn't let them go there either. Proceeding on to Macia, they went down to the seaport of Troas. That night, Paul had a dream. A Macedonian stood on the far shore and called across the sea. Come over to Macedonia and help us. The dream gave Paul his map. We went to work at once, getting things ready to cross over to Macedonia. All the pieces had come together. We knew now for sure that God had called us to preach the good news to the Europeans. One woman, Lydia from Thyatira, come on church, a deal of expensive textiles, known to be a God-fearing woman, and she listened with intensity to what was being said. The master gave her a trusting heart, and she believed. And she was baptized along with everyone in her household. And she said in a surge of hospitality, if you're confident that I am is this with you and believe in the minister truly, come home home with me and be my guest. We hesitated, but she would take no for an answer. Amen. Sounds just like a woman would take no for an answer. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of our most high God. I'm going to use for a subject matter on this morning. Remain faithful and faithful even when life is life. Remain faithful and faithful even when life is life. Amen. We know what the term life means. Sometimes things just happen out of our control. We can be 
doing well, we can be on a path of success, and then all of a sudden, sometimes something just comes up out of nowhere. But I want to encourage you on today to remain faithful and faithful, even when life is life How many of you know that there is reward in being faithful and in faithful? Amen. 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 God has great and precious plans for us, and they are waiting to be birthed. You are filled with the promises of God. You are filled with expectations that you are not even aware of. The Word of God tells us that there are great and precious promises that God has given us even before the foundation of the world. Can you imagine that? Even before the world was formed, God had in mind that he would give you great and precious promises and they're waiting to be birthed when we are, come on, faithful and faith-filled. Now there is a difference even as I was thinking about these words, being faithful. We can be faithful pretty much about anything. We're faithful about waking up in the mornings, bathing ourselves, aren't we? Amen. Amen. Brushing our teeth, right? Yes. Combing our hair, amen? Putting lotion on our face and our bodies. We're faithful about going to work. So we can be faithful pretty much about anything. But being faithful is something different, isn't it? Yeah. Because see, when you're faithful, you have to know that no matter what comes, or no matter what goes, that God is going to work it out. Aren't you glad that you got a promise? from a man that should not lie, from a son of man that should not repent, that God's word has gone out and is so powerful that whatever God has promised you is waiting to come to pass. Amen? Amen. When you are faith-filled, you have a deep-seated conviction that no matter what the challenges are, no matter what the situation is, that God is with you, and because God is with you, my God, he is more than the world is against you. Because God is for you, he is more than the world is against you. We have to know that all things, shout out all things. Amen. That's true. All things are working out for your good because you love the Lord. Do y'all love the Lord on this morning? Amen. Praise God. Do you really love the Lord on this morning? Because you love God, and not only do you love God, but you are called according to God's purpose. In other words, God has put a purpose on the inside of you. God has put some promises on the inside of you. God has put some dreams and some aspirations on the inside of you. My God, my God. Listen, you all, we all have aspirations in here, don't we? Yes. But think about what God has placed on the inside of you. They are even greater than that. That's why I love the scripture. Just about every Sunday I say, there are blessings for you that eyes have not seen. My God, my God. That ears have not heard. It has not even entered in your heart what God has prepared for you. But praise God, he's revealed it by his spirit. You ought to shout praise God with God's spirit. Come on, you ought to shout praise God with God's spirit. And listen, you all, it's not by our power. It's not by our might. But it's God's spirit, come on, says the Lord of hosts. And he's Lord of all and Lord through all. God wants us to be faithful and faith-filled, my God. So being faithful and faith-filled, it takes consistency, doesn't it? Amen. Listen, this is one thing that I see a lot, particularly in the body of Christ. One day, we can feel that God, we can... Take the whole world, right? God is blessing here. God is blessing there. God is blessing everywhere. And then the next day, that same person don't even know how they can hardly get up out of the bed. And so the word of God is telling us this morning it's important to be what? Faithful in what? Come on. faith feel. Because when you're faith feel, no matter what you are dealing with, no matter what's going on in your life, you know that God is on your side. You know that there is nothing too hard for God. You know that God will work it out while we're trying to figure it out. Come on. That God has already, my God, worked it out. My God, this the song you sing. Jesus will work it out while we're trying to figure it out. God has already worked it out. Come on, the baby need a pair of shoes and the light bill is due. But hey, somebody say, God has already worked it out. That's why we have to be faithful in faith. Feel. We have to be 
consistency. We have to be steadfast, you all. Come on. We have to be immovable. Can't nothing move you. Can't nothing shake you. Can't nothing rock what God has done. We have to what? Always shout always. Always. Hey, got a church here. Shout always again. Always. There you go. Say that one more time. Shout always. always. Hey, I found it in the work of the Lord because our labor is not in vain in the Lord. Come on. They used to sing the song, only what you do for Christ will last. Come on. Your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Come on. Keep on singing. Come on. Keep on preaching. Come on. Keep on teaching. Keep on working. Come on. Because your labor, hey, is not in vain in the Lord. So we have to be safe, faith-filled. And faithful. Faith-filled. And faithful. Faith feel. Come on, church. And faithful. And it takes grit. It takes grit to be faithful. Right? It takes grit to be faith feel. We have to have this personality of courage. No matter if the wind blows, no matter when the storm comes, sometimes we feel like the breath has been knocked out of our bodies. Come on, we still have to be faithful and faith feel, knowing that there is nothing too hard for God, knowing that God's promises, come on, y'all, every promise, every promise is yes and amen. Hallelujah, every promise, every promise is yes and amen. We have to have this personality of courage. We have to be determined. We have to have this fortitude that we have to, you know, it's important to have the right attitude. Amen. We had a wonderful leadership conference on yesterday, didn't we? Amen. Come on, Amen. praise God. Come on, come on, praise God. We had a wonderful leadership meeting on yesterday. And we talked about that there are blessings, you all. There are blessings when we have the right attitude. I kind of said that in our leadership meeting, your attitude oftentimes affects, affects your altitude. Because sometimes people are just, will do something for you. Come on. Just because you have a nice attitude. And I want to say this on this morning to you all. Listen, don't treat people nice, contingent about what they have to give That's you. Right. That's right. See, we're in a society now where we want to be with a certain group. Amen? Yeah. We want to be with certain people because of what they have to give to us. Come on, but everybody was made in the very image of God. Come on, we got modern day. My God, my God, the unhoused person. Come on, it's made in the image of God. The person that's living mediocrity. Come on, it's, it's made in the image of God. The millionaire is made in the image of God. Come on, the billionaire is made in the image of God. The trillionaire is made in the image of God. You don't know who has your blessing. You really don't know who has your promise. It's interesting how God will allow people to come into your life that has exactly what you need. But listen, listen, listen. It's continuing about how you go serve other people. Come on, you want to shout, it ain't all just about me. Come on, it ain't all just about me. Come on, it's just not all just about me. Come on, but it's about being the building. Come on, it's about the work that God has called us to do. My God, my God, our great God who is strong and mighty. Our God who is mighty and battle. Our God who is the king of glory. Come on, do y'all know the king of glory on this morning? Come on, the Lord God, come on, who is strong and mighty. The Lord God, come on, who is mighty and battle. He is the king of glory. You ought to let him come in. Come on, you want to, come on, shout out to me. Father God, I open my heart, my whole heart, so you can come in. Come on, suck with me, oh God. Come on, abide with me. Come on, move in my spirit. Hey, in the name of Jesus. My God, my God, I think about, I think about, I think about, I think about, I continuously think about how God allows people to come across our path. How is it that our great God, our powerful God, our mighty God, will have a woman sit at a table with us and say, my husband said, I got three million dollars that I got to give away. Help me find some people to give the money to. Come on. Only God can do that. Only God can do that. I told y'all about the testimony about my head of medical college. Y'all have heard been hearing this testimony for the last three Sundays now. And I heard that when you continue to repeat something, there's trauma associated with it. So come on, I'm not going to bleed on y'all too much, but you got to hear this story again. We got a check from um, Harry Medical College. They sent us $5,000. Y'all know the story, to do programming. That's what it had said on the check. It said programming. And it was said it was a donation. I sent a letter back to say thank you. Thank you very much. I was taught to say thank you. Well, you all taught to say thank you when someone does something for you. And then, uh, maybe, uh, come on, it's still, it's still proper in this day and time, isn't it? Send a letter back to say thank you. The, letter, the lady responded, we didn't send you that money, send that check back. 
I had to pray, y'all. I've been telling y'all this for the last three Sundays. I had to pray. I had to go deep in God, amen. But you know that flesh, uh, old people say the flesh. That flesh, it'll rise up on it. Come on, I'm not the only one. Come on, it'll rise up real quick. Come on, I had to pray and had to pray hard. I said, you know what? I told y'all that if they don't want us to have the money, we don't want the money. You don't want something that nobody don't want you to have, do you? I don't, do you? No. Send the money back. Last Sunday, I read the text to y'all yesterday. Got a text from this individual. They said, have you had an opportunity to send the money back yet? They said, I know you need it. I said, yes. I forward the wet money back to them. They said, I'm going to replace it. I'm going to send you the $5,000. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yeah. 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 See, I'm talking about being faithful and faithful. Yeah. Because yeah. even in that time, matter of fact, I told my God, I said, oh, you know what? I said, evidently God want to do something greater. Yeah. Evidently God want to do something bigger. Yeah. I said, you know what? I said, I'm looking for 25000 She said, uh-uh, mom, let's say 50 I said, baby, I'll touch it. I agree with you. Come on, come on, come on. Put your hands together. Come on, all over the building. Come on, all over the building. Come on, come on, come on. Because he really needs this work. But keep the work on. Looked in my spam mailbox. Y'all got to just stay with me for a minute. Still. Saying, God, you're going to have to work this out. Y'all, I was hot. I was hot. Looked at my spam mailbox. Healing trust. Congratulations, healing minds and souls. You have been rewarded $25,000. I'm talking about being faithful. the spirit of God. He said that this is a wonderful church. 
He said this church loves the community. He said that we are blessed because all that we are doing in the community. And he said that they love you, Pastor Elma. He said that they follow you in an easy way. I said, praise God. They sure do. Thank you, Brother Randy. But he said this. He said that when individuals release grudges, he said God is going to take this ministry to a level that we have never anticipated to see before. Amen. Come on, that's the word of God. That's the word of God. You are an office things is in our hearts. Yes. Sometimes words that were spoken all over yes. us that when we were children that have put a pin or a scale or a, a hard place in our hearts. The Lord is telling us today to release it because he wants us to have more faith and not only more faith but he wants us to be faith filled about whatever God has said for us to do. Yes. Amen. Amen. When the pastor says, we're going to bow this whole block. Amen. Come on, you all. Amen. The whole church is going to bow it up. Come on, come on, come on. Amen. In Jesus' name, glory to God. Amen. Come on. Glory to Jesus. Glory to God. When my husband was here, she said, Ella, she said, I see some big things coming to HFCC. And she said, I'm not playing. She said, it's not, she said, it's not a little bit of money. This is what she said, didn't it? She said, yeah. She said, there's a whole lot of money. She said, there's a whole lot of money. She said, I see it coming. And then she said, I see something else that I can't say. She said, there's something else that I can't say. She said, there's something else that I, she said, I see it. I see it. She said, I can't say it. Listen, you all. Things have happened and happened unexpectedly here, right? Amen. Perhaps those were some things that she couldn't have said. Thank you. Thank you. Perhaps, perhaps, yes, perhaps, because, you know, we don't want to allow the Holy Spirit. Perhaps the transitioning of Pastor Clay was something that she couldn't have give voice to. <laughs> Just perhaps. Right. We've talked about this. But what she did see, what we are seeing now, is a whole lot of money. Come on. 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 That's why our church has to remain faithful and faith filled. Yes. No matter what we see, no matter what's going on, we have to remain faithful and faith filled. That latter part of the text, the 14th and 15th verse, said there was a woman. There was a man. That the color purple in the Bible symbolics prosperity and wealth. It says that she had these textiles. But this is what it says. She said because she opened her heart to God. Yes. She said her whole household was saved. Amen. Yes. Because she opened her heart to God. Her whole household was saved. And let me tell you something. I got to say this and I'm getting ready to go because I got to baptize today. You all, when you pray for your husbands, make sure that you're consistently walking the walk that God has called us to walk. Because oftentimes we'll pray for our husbands, then we'll go back and we'll start doing some other stuff. That's what the, come on, put your hands together, because that's the word of Jesus. When we're praying for people, make sure that we're being consistent. Because see, God doesn't, every prayer that we pray is heard. And you know, it's interesting that sometimes that's one of the things that happened said in the text that God, the Holy Spirit, blocked the root. And some of those prayers that we have prayed, the Holy Spirit has blocked the root because God didn't want it to come to pass. But y'all, as we pray for people, make sure that we are being consistent, that we have a passionate heart, that we love people, and our hearts will remain open for God. So that our whole household Amen. will be saved. Amen. Come on and bless God. Amen. 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 Take 
so good to see each and every one of you out again on this morning. Dr. Carissa, God bless you. Thank you for being here with us on Amen. this morning. Come on, one more time. I want to do it. Thank you for being here, my family. Thank you for standing in solidarity with us, and thank you for being a friend. Amen. She came out well to support Sean in his baptism, so we are grateful, eternally grateful. Amen? Amen. Amen. Are y'all ready to give? Amen. Can you receive the word of the day? Did you receive something that could bless you? Amen. Can you take it this week with you? Thank you. Amen. 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 To remain faithful and faith-filled. Amen. Because it's for generations to come. Yes. Amen. The word of God tells us to give, not gradually or out of necessity. Amen. Do we have... Come on, you all, put your hands together. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. Amen. You all, he's been coming pretty much every Sunday. Come on, praise God for this. certainly take our time, can't we? Amen. And pray and lift Amen. up the name of Jesus for individuals that need prayer. Amen. If anyone else, you're welcome to come to this time. Father God, we thank you for this man of God, Jarvis, oh God. It's not happenstance that he's here today. It's not happenstance that he is in the life of this community. It's not happenstance, oh God, that he has brought him and Mr. Walker together. So God, we stand in agreement with him for his prayer request. God, we thank you that you're the ultimate father. And as he falls deeper in love with you, you're going to teach him how to be the father of his child and children. God, we thank you even now that he will begin to speak on those things that are lovely. The things, oh God, that are good report. God, that's it, that's it, hallelujah. The things that are virtue, oh God. We thank you even now that his heart is open towards you. Lord, I didn't even have to ask him to raise his hands. He just did it voluntarily, which is a sign of surrender, oh God. So we thank you, God, that he is surrendering his heart, his mind, and his spirit unto you. And God, we thank you for the great and precious promises that you have in Jonathan's life. No matter, oh God, what his beginning was, God, but you can make his end even better. God, we thank you that he's going to forget the things that were before him, and he's going to press towards the mark of a high calling that's in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. We thank you, oh God, that it's a high, 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 high calling. And God, as he presses to you, God, generational blessings are going to be released in this family. From the north, from the south, from the east and the west, oh God. We thank you, God, that you chose Jarvis for such a time as this. And we praise your name, oh God, that he said yes. Hey, he said yes to your will, oh God, he said yes to your way. God, we thank you for the open doors. And we, God, thank you for the closed doors. God, we thank you for blocking the routes, hallelujah. That he even wanted to walk in, not even because you have it. So God, we thank you, Lord, now that as he follows you, your word says there's nothing good that you will withhold from him because he walks up right with you. So God, we clap our hands. Hey, we clap our hands. Come on, 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 clap your hands. Glory to Jesus.
Hallelujah. He said he's going to lift you. He said he's going to lift you. He's going to make you rule over many, over many, over many, over many, over many, over many. Where eyes haven't seen. Come on. Where ears haven't heard. And he went to your heart what you hear is prepared for you. Jobs is by the Spirit. Come on, it's by the Spirit. Come on, you have the presence of the Spirit. It's not by what you see. It's not by what you think, but it's by the Spirit. Come on, so it's the Lord of hosts. Come on, you all. Praise God in his great name. God bless you. 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 Oh, Lord. Come on, you all. Yes, that's all we have to do. 
And it's after it finishes the cue, she's going to pray God's blessings upon us. Amen. She's going to pronounce benediction. She's going to pray over our tithe and our offering. And then after she does that, then we're going to come. But before we do all that, we're going to sing our anthem. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed where we're going. Come on.
God. And be faithful, God. Now, Father, we are going to be faithful in our giving, God. Oh, God, we thank you and we praise you for the givers on today, God. Oh, God, some give a hundredfold on today, God, in Jesus' name. Oh, God, we thank you and we praise you, God, as we go forth and we go out, God. We go out in power. We go out with authority, God. We go out with victory, God. 